speaking on behalf of Jayesh, so. Um, I was told there was a free lunch. Krishnamurti Garu made Leda Naru. I was told there was a free lunch. That's why I'm here, actually. Um, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you to the entire family of uh, Microchip. Um, fabulous new facility. Congratulations, compliments to the builders, to the leaders. You know, I, I love the way you started, Sri. You know, you said uh, we have all three gods here. Ganesh, Ram and Krishna. Now we also have Jayesh. <laughs> Jayesh, aapka bhi Bhagawan ka naam hai na? Push So, compliments to all of you on a brand new facility and, uh, and thank you Krishna Garu for your kind words about Hyderabad. Ganesh, uh, since you don't uh, come to Hyderabad often, I think I should uh, not leave this opportunity to tell you that um, we're doing much better than Chennai and Bangalore. Um, <laughs> In fact, um, last two years in a row, because we are all, most of us are all Hyderabadis and we take a lot of pride in the way the city is shaping up. So let me tell you, last two years in a row, according to NASCOM, in the year 2021 and 22, out of the total jobs, technology jobs created in India, one third were from Hyderabad. This was 2021-22. And in 2022 and 23, in fact, out of the total tech jobs created in India, 44% came from Hyderabad. So, literally one in a two from Hyderabad. Not just that, just to put things in perspective, um, the city has been growing exponentially. In 2014, the total number of employees in the technology sector in Hyderabad was about 323,000, which is about 3,23,000. Now, as of March this year, it is 9,5,000. So you can imagine the kind of explosive growth the city has been having. And it also shows in our IT export figures. Back in 2014, it was 56,000 crores worth export, software exports from Hyderabad and Telangana. Now as of this year, it is 2,41,000. So it's literally quadrupled. The number of employees has tripled and the number of in terms of uh, software exports, it has quadrupled. Not just that, as uh, Krishnamurti Garu has mentioned, there are new verticals taking shape. See, I know microchip is uh, all pervasive. You cut through various industry verticals. I know you're there pretty much in everything, med devices to automobiles to everything in between, I'm sure, aerospace and everything else in between, right? So let me also take this opportunity, Ganesh and Shrikant, to tell you guys that um, you, know, you need to do more in Hyderabad because life sciences, we are the life sciences capital of India. In fact, 40% uh, of India's pharmaceuticals are produced from Hyderabad. In fact, one third of global vaccines are produced from Hyderabad. We produce 9 billion doses of uh, global vaccines. Next time one of your um, you know, friends or their children is getting a vaccine shot in the US, Ganesh, please remember, there's one in a three chance it could have been made in Hyderabad. <laughs> come next year, come next year, it will be 50% of vaccine production of the world happening from Hyderabad because 14 billion doses of vaccines would be produced. Not only are we home to largest vaccine producers, in fact, um, Ganesh, uh, we are also home to India's largest medical devices park. And in this med devices park in Sultanpur, we also have the world's largest stent maker. And I know you guys work extensively with the medical electronics sector, medical devices sector. I would urge you to also closely look at what we can do together, explore synergies, etc. Talking about um, automobiles, let me also share with you that uh, we've launched what is called as Telangana Mobility Valley. Now, Telangana Mobility Valley is essentially um, an opportunity that I think, uh, you know, uh, some city in India had to seize. We moved first and we've launched this uh, a few months ago and we already have onboarded uh, you know some of your competition and some of your collaborators probably Intel, Bosch, ZF, Stellantis, Qualcomm all of them are a part of this uh, initiative in fact the idea is to define and understand how Hyderabad and India can play an important a pivotal role so to speak in the sustainable mobility space over the course of next couple of decades I believe you know with every country every state and every institution for that matter, setting up uh, targets in terms of net zero and carbon neutrality and even carbon negative in some, in, in some cases. 
I think the future is all, you know, future mobility is all sustainable. So therefore, to move forward and to get Hyderabad to get you know Hyderabad into the pole position, we've launched the Mobility Valley, and I would urge Microchip as well to work with us and possibly look at an opportunity to invest, to join as a knowledge partner, to start looking at uh, you know various collaborative opportunities within this space. Genome Valley, which was set up uh, in the you know a couple of decades ago has really led to us becoming the vaccine capital of the world today. Likewise, I believe the Telangana Mobility Valley will also propel us, will catapult us into that orbit which will make us an important node for sustainable mobility solutions in the world. Having said that, I think you also may have heard, you may have uh, met with some of your customers, some of your partners here in this uh, you know, ESDM, the Electronic System Design Manufacturing and the Semiconductor Space. We have, um, you know, some of the some of your friends here, I said, I mentioned Micron, Qualcomm, AMD, Intel, SI Labs, all of them are here. We also are looking at more and more, uh, you know, skilling from our side. We have an institution called as the TASK, Telangana Academy for Skills and Knowledge. What we do with TASK, in fact, um, something truly unique, uh, Ganesh, what we can do for you. For instance, you have about 500 employees now for microchip in Hyderabad. If you're looking to double that headcount, what we can do for you is we'll probably uh, train about 1,000 at our cost, 1,000 kids at our cost, and then you can cherry pick the best 500 out of that 1,000. And this is all done by the government institution called as a task. And we are the leaders in the country uh, when it comes to ESDM skilling. I must also add that. Let me also tell you another very interesting initiative that we are rolling out uh, in the VLSI space. Uh, it's an initiative around skilling, it's an initiative around innovation and incubation. It's called as T-FACE. Now this stands for the fabulous accelerator through cloud enablement, which again we are very upbeat about. Hyderabad is already home to the world's largest innovation campus in the form of T-Hub and T-Works. We focus on tech innovation, we focus on prototyping. We're also now looking at ensuring that uh, you know, we get more and more, more, and more support in this fabulous space. As Krishnamurti Garu has pointed out, you need a strong um, you know, workforce and think force to make India's impact in this uh, semiconductor space felt. We are in very early stages now, you know, compared to the US or compa compared to Taiwan or compared to other semiconductor ecosystems, we are in a nascent stage, so to speak. But I believe the future is for India to really take uh, the pole position in the next decade or so. And I do believe that Hyderabad will have a very important role. So all in all, uh, Ganesh, uh, firstly compliments on this wonderful facility. And uh, I can tell you with a lot of confidence, the talented youngsters that you see here today, I can vouch for them because, you know, like I said, they, the city has, been has seen explosive growth just because we have these talented youngsters coming from all parts of India and all parts of the world. And I do believe that uh, the journey has just begun and uh, we will ensure that we leave Bangalore, Chennai, Pune and others much, much, much behind in our journey and I promise you that uh, we'll be an able partner, we'll be an able guide as you go through your growth banks as well. Thank you very much for having me. Jai Telangana, Jai Hind.